All right, hey guys. Gotta do this one kinda quick because my camera is running out of space. Um, this is being done on 11 by 14. Um, Repouring canvas, it was poured on once, I didn't like it. So I'm covering it up. And I have a very thin layer of white, two parts Floetrol, one part titanium white, and water to thin. I have Arteza's Pearl Sapphire Blue. I think that's what it's called, I'll write it down. Um, and then this is a Payne's Gray with Phthalo Blue and a little bit of silver. This is Rose, Arteza Rose. And then I have my white pour around to blow out Dutch pour. Okay. So I have my blow dryer ready. I have my torch. And now let's just jump right in and get started. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay, we will start with... Crazy swirly line. I want to go in with now. Let's go for some gold. I think that's good. I'm going to add a little bit more gold and then we're going to call it. Okay. Move these cups out of the way. And we're going to put some white down. I'm not going to go too crazy. Try not to anyway. I'm not even going to go there. I can tell there's plenty of paint over there. Okay. Get that out of the way. Oh, I just wanted to get my white stick. And... I don't know. I just like doing that, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, let me get my hair dryer. Okay, so I'm going to blow over the colors. Low setting, the lowest setting, and then if you hear it go louder, it's because I'm hitting the cool boost button. If I'm feeling they're not flowing. Here we go. I'm not going to torch. I got some of the air bubbles out first. I kind of like, I just want to wait and torch after I've settled on where the paint's going to mostly stay so then the colors and everything could react and all that when you hit the hit it with the heat. Um, okay, here we go. blow that off. 
I just felt like there was maybe too much paint and I don't want to mess that up too bad. So let's um, give this a bit of a blow. Colors are pretty. I'm happy with the colors. Kind of not happy with this bit. I might have to blow it off with the blow dryer. Okay, real quick. Fingers crossed I don't mess this up. That's a shame because this is really pretty down here. What to do, what to do. All right, I have to work this corner. Might have to scrape a bit and put some more white down there. So I'm just gonna do that right now because I already know that I want a bit more negative space there. Okay, not a big deal. Make some more white. But... Now we'll come back in and fix this. Oh yeah, there's the color. Okay, I know there's gonna be more color there, so. this side and then we're going to go over there. Okay, and I was gonna scrape, but I'm glad I, so far, I'm glad I did not scrape.
Okay, so I might have to touch touch this up a bit, but I want to kind of work this side, and then I'm going to stick the torch on and see how it looks. But I'm happy with the composition, I think. I like it. What side? This. I just feel like there's, there's just more color under there that wants to come out, so... So I'm just going to go for it, and if you mess it up, just scrape I'm kind of losing my negative space, so I don't want to go too far. Just trying to open up that white a bit. And then close it. Okay. And... I don't want to lose those, but I almost know I might just leave it the white balance anyway. Okay, I am going to blow this little bit out, I think. I was supposed to stick the torch on it, but I didn't. I just get so excited when I do blow and all that color just pops back out. I'm happy with the way this is looking, so I am going to stick the torch on it. My gloves ripped, so they're coming off. Okay, let's do this. I'm hoping that something happens here just a little bit because I know there's color under there, but... I think, I don't know, we'll see. Now I'm going high, I'm getting all these little I don't really want to lose my hard edges there. They're somewhat hard, they're kind of, you know. Yeah, that's pretty. There's some rows coming up there. Let's see if we can get this to do something. Oh, my torch is so strong right now. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh. I'm happy. Happy. I like this. I like how it's like here and then falls off there and then goes off there. Hopefully it dries nicely. I'll bring you in for a close up. Yeah, that's good colors together. I think you can't go wrong with those. So let's bring it in for a close up. Sorry. Okay, and that's, I always like this little angle. I think it's cool, I like it. So this is what I'm looking at. I should actually flip it around to see if I, I'm happy with it, so. Okay. And in for close up. There's that. I love those juicy little white cells. I like, I like, I like. Love that. Wait, where am I? Right there. Let's see if I can get better light. Those as well. Love it on the edge. 
and then love 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 all the colors these are pretty great <laughs> good colors together guys try them out right and then we'll do it up top so that's how it looks i hope you guys like thanks for watching and if you've made it this far thank you <laughs> Um, and like, subscribe if you haven't, check out my other videos, um, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, all that stuff, share me on your social media, pin me on Pinterest, all that, check links for descriptions, my Facebook art page, if you see anything that you would like to purchase, um, or even if something out of one of my videos that you see, just shoot me a comment and ask me if it's available, and I will, we can email back and forth. Right guys, until next time, see you later, bye.